Okay, now you see how the top of this beam looks? That's mold. When I had the beams delivered, they were banded together and I wanted to keep them stable as I could, so I left them banded together. You know, it's my fault. I should have probably should have probably stickered them. Um, so we've got a bleach solution on them right now. That should kill the mold. And um, you know, depending on how light it gets, I guess I'm going to have one side of my beam that's a little blacker than the other. So if you get beams delivered, and they're all banded together, and there's no stickers between them. Cut the banding, put some stickers between them, buy yourself some ratchet straps, and ratchet strap them back together. Don't be lazy like me. I left my tape hooked up because if I lose my mark, I can pull my tape back out and I can find my mark again. I know what the measurement is, I just couldn't find my mark. Now I did label these. I did label these. And you just kind of have to work this face and see which way your square lays flat on it. I do have a lot of knots on this post, which is really kind of a bummer. And I really don't like laying it out, square it out this way because I got the sun's shadow on my mark that I have to deal with. I'm drawing these lines all the way across because this is my reference face, so this is the outside of the post. Well, all my joinery is going to be on this face, on the exact opposite side of the post. So I got to I got to draw these marks all the way to the edges so then I can square down and pull my line from my housing and I can pull this line down for the same thing for that brace pocket and transfer it to the exact opposite side of the post. And how I do that is, is I just get my square up here, get rid of my fuzzies, look to see if it's gonna lay flat because of the knot. And if it's not, then I'll flip it around, see if it'll, lay flat because of this knot. Let me tell you something people. Knots. Knots are the scourge of my existence right now. It's really not a good situation. These knots. These knots are not good. contact all the way down the whole leg of the plane or of the square. There's still air gaps underneath it. It's not perfect. This is a rough sawn timber, but it needs to sit flat. Well, hey everyone. As you can see, we're finally cutting on some wood. 
Well, not technically cutting on it yet, but I'm marking on it at least. After about 17 calls to Jim, the tradesman, thanks Jim for answering your phone and not hanging up on me after the 10th call. Um, I kind of got laying out these beams figured out. It's a little bit unnerving, kind of when you do your first one. I'm not sure exactly why, but it just kind of is, you know what I mean? I don't have extra beams laying around, so if I screw one up, um, I'm kind of in trouble. It's just kind of odd that, that, you know, you don't really worry about it so much if you're building a piece of furniture or some other woodworking project. Um, but I think I got it figured out. And so this, this first beam layout uh, was a little dicey, but I think we've got it dialed in and now I know how to lay them out. Pretty, got a pretty good handle on how to lay out the tie beams. Um, so tomorrow we'll, I'm gonna lay out the other one and try and get them both cut tomorrow. Um, possibly work on that tie beam a little bit. It's kind of going slow. I'll get faster as I go on this building, I'm sure, but these first few beams have been a little slow for me, but um, we'll, we'll get it figured out. Anyways, I'm glad to be cutting on some wood. I'm sure you guys are glad to see me finally working on these timbers. And before you know it, there'll be a building standing right behind me. Be sure and uh, subscribe to the channel. Click that little button right there if you're new. Um, be sure and like the video, it helps the channel out. Um, I'm pretty excited about this, this barn project. It should be a lot of fun. Thanks for coming along for the journey and we'll see you on the next one.